All right, we're in a bathroom closet, and I am removing this cedar. This is what I'm going to use to finish the top of the steps with on the sides there of the staircase. Uh, I've been taking this off quite a while. Now this, when I first started using the cedar, this is the first stuff I bought. It's three quarters of an inch thick. So it's pretty big, thick stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this off. And I'm going to end up just sheetrocking. I mean, it's already sheetrock except for up at the ceiling. I'm going to get that insulated and closed in. So right now what I've been doing is pulling these off and then going out there and pulling the nails out of them. And then I will use these boards to finish the stairs. I want to get that done today. Uh, project's going on too long. Needs to get done. Then I need to get in here into the bathroom. Now, th this was the first thing I did. Yeah. <laughs> Some of this I may be pulling off and redoing later because I don't like screws in them. And when I first did this, this is the very first thing I did with cedar, other than the dining room and kitchen ceiling. Uh, and I put screws in them, and I don't like the screws in them. So I may do the whole bathroom a whole different way. I don't know. But right now, we're starting on this. I uh, will get these off. I've already pulled six or seven of them off and got the nails out. I'm just going to need a few more to finish the stairs, so let's get going. All right, just to show you where we're starting this morning, I'm going to start by running some horizontal pieces across here, and then we're going to, right here on this part of the rail, we're going to have the board and batten like we got here. So uh, the easiest thing to do is go horizontal on the bottom, and we'll come up the same height with these, and uh, they're going to be a little thicker, so I'm going to have to Figure that out as I go, and I want that wired, something done with that, so that I'm going to be tapping into that to run some electrical up here. So we'll get going on that, and here we go.
make a little progress. Uh, I was trying to record a time lapse and I saw that it was on slow mo, so I hope not. So if you didn't see a time lapse, <laughs> then you didn't see me doing none of this. So now I've got these uh, horizontal boards on. Now I'm going across like I do there with the vertical and a uh, little precise cutting right up in here where the rail ends. I don't really like that, but it is what it is. So I'm gonna get the rest of these cut. I've gotta go pull some more boards out of the closet, pull nails out of them. So I turned off the uh, time lapse until I get those. It ought to go pretty quick until I get down to the end there and have to figure out what to do there. So, all right guys. big holes gone that side is done to the top step then I got to figure out how I want to proceed from there but I've got the board and batten on here and uh, what I need to do over here is do the same I've got this outlet there I've already already started one board vertically so I'm gonna have to pull that off and, and change it now I've got to go feed the dogs and I'm wore out so man that's you know it didn't look like a whole lot of work but it was you know, there's a lot of weird cuts in, involved there and then here on the end I've got to cut another piece that'll cover all this and uh, get that thing pieced together but we've got some terrible weather in the forecast ain't no telling I should be able to work on some stuff inside I hope uh, get these boards underneath these steps cut across see like how that's gapped that will fix that uh the first three or four steps aren't bad but as you get up higher they are so but i've got a solution for that i was going to do that yesterday and just never got around to it so here we are that's a little further from one where we started all right guys and just to look underneath the stairs uh what i'm talking about doing is cutting a full 36 inch piece two by four going to lay flat against that okay and the first thing I want to do is toe nail them on the ends because I have to put this piece screwed to it first that way I can drive the screws through into the 2x4 that pulls the bow out of the stairs pulls the gap out I was going to do that today that I remember now I don't have the screws I need two and a half inch screws for that and I have three inch and that would go through so because I want to put my screws in from the bottom so I don't have screws going through the tops of the steps and then the other thing I've got to do in here is finish this closet <laughs> it's just it's just become a catch-all for everything and uh, get that sheet rocked in and this light I was hoping I could get two inches two three inches out of that line but it's tight all the way to the junction box so I'm gonna have to pull this light entirely run a new line I just don't I don't know I think I'll come up with something but I need it dead center here I need enough cedar to finish this ceiling as well and that's about it that's about another month's worth of work because this this closet thing is gonna take a while uh, this little area I'm gonna make try to make some drawers in there that pull out I have never had my house this messy ever I'll be embarrassed to show you. I mean, I've just got stuff laid out everywhere. It's terrible. And I can't wait to get this project done so that I can get everything organized. And, and oh, it's driving me nuts. It's like an obstacle course when I wake up in the night trying to walk through here. But we're getting there, man. It's taking a while. But uh, we're going to get there. So just hang on with me and see. Happy trails. <laughs> 